Next row is the next team is at Tar Heel Club in Tar Heel. About Tar Heel Club in Tar Heel Clubhouse, about 20 yards from the wood line. Table. Yeah, well. New Barney, Old Mill Barney with his four way flashers on. If somebody is nearby, I can check him out and make sure he's not trying to give this guy a ride. Okay, now the only is to relocate the drone to Tar Heel Club and Tar Heel Clubhouse. We're just southeast of you. I'll let you in make the decision we have. This is free helicopter over us. The more eyes, the better. There's somebody calling command. Command, Command, there's somebody calling command. Deputy Chief, uh, they were asking if they should bring the drone over to Tar Heel Clubhouse and Tar Heel Club. And they were going to leave that uh, decision to you. Is the SHP air unit above them? Go for HP air. Tovar, watch your back. you got a citizen coming up behind you. Let's see if we can send him back in the house. Hey, can the drone operator communicate directly with SHP air? Be advised, don't know if it's related, but we've got shots fired up here in the back of Single gunshot in the woods near where K9 deployed off of Abington. Flash traffic reference to gunshot in the woods. Cousin, do not know if it's related. Single gunshot in the woods where K9 first deployed off of the dead end of Abington, Abington Lane. Again, single gunshot in the woods, opposite direction of where y'all are now. Got gunshots in the woods, guys. Got gunshots in the woods. Multiple or single? On third. A shit gun, multiple. North of Just out of the KIV. Uh, we have an officer down. We have an officer down. <laughs> it's going to be uh, in the fields. There's four fields over here. Start sending EMS up. No burning. You're 440. Have them stayed. Officer struck in the leg. 10 4 mil burning. You're 440 stage. 800 357 615. Hey, all units hold traffic. All units hold traffic. Hey, the guys that are out here with shots fired, what do y'all got in the front of the barn? The EMS at no burning at 440. Officer down. Officer been shot. We need EMS to 1533 McConnell Oliver. McConnell Oliver. 1533 McConnell Oliver. Officer shot. Get a EMS 1033. All right, 1099 at 903 is in route with a medic bag. Send on the address again. MS coming. Hey, guys on 540, just be advised, that's that little dead-end service road that runs parallel to 540, so he can definitely make his way through the woods line and it's up on the 540, so just uh, be careful. Hey, this is Raleigh. Stand by. We need that address for EMS. 1533. It's 1533 McConnell Oliver Drive. 1533 McConnell Oliver Drive. Copy. Signal 251533 McConnell Oliver Drive. It's urgent. HP Air can provide Kazavak to the hospital. Are we sure the shot came inside the garage and not the woods? Yeah, you got officers out here. Hey, um, SHP Air, can y'all go up a little bit? We're having a hard time communicating on the ground. Hey, firm, going up. How urgent is that uh, officer shot? Yeah, the GSW to the kneecap, tourniquet's been applied. I think everything's stable with it. Um, we're going to try and pull him on the back side of the field, and I'll try and get your coordinates here in just a second. 10 four. You got an S-18 at McGee Court standing by? I've not had anybody to come out from where your shot's fired came from. All right, we need to start making arrangements. We think you may be in a, in a building here. We need to start making arrangements for somebody to retrieve the bear. Uh, and we're probably going to have to pull the bear down the driveway to make a punch on this. Um, command, if you all can uh, pinpoint right where we are on the field, you can start setting up a real tight perimeter on this. Hey, yeah, the boss is on the way with the armor. He's headed to you right now. Hey, cool. I'm going to want an air cat, so if we can go ahead and recruit these relays uh, from my area, get somebody from Wake and pull cool bears down here. We're going to need it to move some of this stuff out of the way. I think the regular bear is going to sink on this round. Okay, sir, how's the bear cat now? Okay, well, McConnell Oliver. McConnell Oliver. Correct. I'm just trying to get the numbers. 1533. We just, we're, the other team is trying to track to, um, to close them in. Close them in. 
EMS is staging at Station 21 for the second signal 25. Travis, there's about 25 of us out here in the street on McConnell Oliver. Direct us into where you need us to go. All right. Hold the radio for just a second. A-20 tall officers that are set up on the building where the, uh, the most recent shooting occurred. We're using the front of the building where it's open at 6 o'clock side. Do we have all officers 10-4 from the 7 o'clock all the way to the 1 o'clock where we have coverage? All right. I'd also want to go ahead and pull any other canines that we have that we're tracking somewhere else to this location. Go ahead and have them stage up the road. 804 to 820. 804 to 820. Go ahead. Okay, we got a clear XO route for that officer, or if you got an ingress route. I have SHD that are exporting him out now, and they're, they should be working on that. It's going to be an open field there. Uh, we may even just pull, if, if SHD can just pull a helicopter down to him, pick him up and take him straight to Wegmet that, Wake that, that way. That'd be fine, too. We do have a medic on board. Hold traffic on the radio. Hold traffic. Oh, he, he, he got him out to the road. Do we have eyes on that far left side of the barn over there? Anybody see that? Not your fire, just right on scene. The, the engine officer is being put in a highway patrol car and is going to be going to the stop sign. He'll be going to the stop sign at McConnell, McConnell Oliver. He was almost there. I could help. Officers, any patrol call now. Being moved to the stop sign at uh, Old Mill Bernie and McConnell Oliver. Yeah, you got a canine team. Where did the horse uh, pass her? All right. If it's possible, unless you have more critical information, I want to save this channel for where we believe we have the suspect contained. Looks like we have a, a shot that came through the side of the shed. I need to be able to communicate directly with the officers on the perimeter. Rick, real quick. Hey, if there's a patrol car out near South Hall and Fire Station, escort that bear out to location. Escort the bear like the siren. 829 and K9 crew are at 1501 McGee Court on the other side of the property from you guys. We're holding this. So if you need us to push up, 1501 McGee. We need, we need direct. Yeah. Aviation, are y'all direct on the location to pick up the injured officer? Negative. Repeat it. All right, hold all radio traffic. Remember, transporting the injured officer. Advise aviation where you need them to 25 you. 375, go ahead and 1018 traffic awake med. 1018 traffic awake med. Do not wait for aviation. Hey, this is Raleigh, priority traffic. Got a suspect now showing up at the Walmart in Nightdale. Camo pants, yellow shirt, black jacket over his head. Walking Nightdale Boulevard headed towards the Dollar General. That's 75, we need the officer's name. RPD command needs the officer's name. Let's let Nightdale respond to that, and um, and if they need some assistance, they can request it. But let's hold what we got right here. That, that's too soon. All right, what's our time frame for getting a bear to our location? Bear's leaving Station 21 right now. All right, let's go ahead and uh, make contact with somebody that's got a, a bear cat. Let's see if we can get it here. That bear may get stuck. I guess I was getting theirs. We got all that. Working over it all. I guess those bear cats on the way. 829 to 820. Go ahead for 820. Just west of you all. Do you want us to get, hold this wood line or push through to get closer to that property? 375. Transport that officer straight to Wake Med. No, wait on aviation. Transport her straight to Wake Med. 1033. All right, hold what you got rather than push any further into the wood line. It's getting dark. I want to clear this structure with a bear cat uh, or with a bear. I need that name for that officer. All right, 820. Um, looking at this map, I don't know how up to date it is, but it looks it's showing two barns behind that residence. One is a longer barn. looks like maybe a... 24 to 36 feet uh, in width, uh, and then the other one is like a little small she shed. Can you advise which one you uh, got eyes on? I think it's the same. We're going to have two blue barns uh, that are about the same size. There's another shed looks like further up. Um, so I, I think that you're on the right thing. But if we can send that bear straight down the road, and um, I'll walk the bear into where we're going to get picked up for that. 
shot came from the larger barn. Officer was uh, 102 in front of the smaller one. Alright, 10 4. Looking at this map, the larger one is closer to the house. The smaller one is all the way in the back. Is that, uh, is that correct? That is correct. Closer, a little bit closer to the house, but they're probably 25, 30 yards apart, if that. We were advancing on the larger barn when, uh, he got shot. Alright, good deal. Probably 1336 is headed to Walmart right now. No, Bernie, in that McConnell Oliver corridor, you've got 829 and uh, K9 Green are over here at 1501 McGee Court. If there's a, a few more people that can link up with us at 1501 McGee Court, uh, we can we can hold down this property back here pretty well. You get five on Lobo Drive. They'll come to you on uh, McGee. 1336 Raleigh and Monsignor Walmart. Sergeant McDonald, where did you take up position right now? We are on the 6 o'clock side of the suspect location, uh, one of the two uh, blue sheds, or blue barns that's in the back, uh, into a horse pasture. Uh, okay. All right, down off of McConnell Olive Drive. There's a dirt road. We need some people down there. Cause if he's not contained in that barn, he can be moving that direction. We've got a clearing in the wood line. Is there any way to get that drone inside the barn? You may be able to. Um, it'd probably be helpful to come straight with the bear and get it down here. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to get in on foot otherwise. Sam 1110, I was picking up foilers, but I have a drone also, and I'm pretty sure I can get it in that thing if you want me to just uh, forego the foilers. 1336 Raleigh, was there another location for the suspect at Walmart? Negative at this time, they only advise in the night that Walmart. Cool. Hey, Maine, if you're flying that drone, if you can get it down here and fly it in that barn for us and just get some eyes inside that barn. All right, 10-4, I, I was told to grab the four-wheelers, but I'm going to route with the drone instead. I'm going to route. Hey, man, I'm already on scene with a drone. Where do you need me? All right, yeah, the drone in the air that's right above the house. If you can get a clearing, um, just drop it down in front of that barn. Once you get below the tree line, you'll be able to see it. It's a blue barn with a metal, with a uh, tin roof on it. And if you can get inside the barn, it's got a big door on it. And you can get eyes inside the barn. You didn't ask about the Nightdale Walmart. Last comments advised that the suspect was seen walking away from the Walmart towards Dollar General. No further. 10 for a copy. Sergeant Blackburn, you got a Sierra unit on scene. Stand by. Wait for the Bearcat to jump in. All right, Roger. Hey, if whoever's offering that drone, if it's easy, if it's easier, you can um, dial me. It's two nine one twenty ten. Two nine one twenty ten. C three seven five probably. Officer at the hospital. Three seven five. That name. I need the officer name. Eight oh four to wake S O with the Bearcat. Hey, whoever's in control of the drone, let me have the channel for a second. Uh, if we got the drone off over the top of this uh, building, can you copy? Second officer, that was 102, then the kneecap. Hold that traffic. Who is the one that controls the drone over top of the, the target location right now? The F.E. Hammonds. All right, if you can drop it straight down in between the two buildings, we can walk in to where the shots came from. Negative, I'm not in there. I think that's wrong. I believe that's an RPD drone. All right, RPD, can you copy? For another channel, see if we can raise whoever it is that's operating that drone up. They were over the top of the right spot. We're trying to get them to come in and bring it into that building. Hey, wake so Deputy Hammonds is pulling up in the uh, pickup truck. He has a drone on board if you can't make contact. 
Right, who is operating the drone over the top of the target location right now? We're working to get them, Dave. It's Chandler or Thompson. All right, I need them to answer up. Can you copy? We need to get that thing dropped down here. It's not doing any good sitting where it is. Hey, I'm with Chandler. He's above the barn. What do you need him to do? I want him to bring it down in between the two barns. And once he does that, he's going to see a barn that has a closed white door. The suspect, we believe, is inside the barn with the closed white door. This is Pierce. I'm with Chandler. He's got the drone over the barn, but he's limited by the um, ceiling. So he can't get it in there? Part of the problem is we're limited to 200 feet AGL because of the SHP chopper. Um, he's doing the best he can. He is relatively above that barn. He can go above. We have HP Chopper has that uh, drone in sight. Okay, this is I'm on out front with the drone. She's on these. Chandler copies. He's going to work on getting in there. It's just going to be difficult with tree cover. All right. Unless you have radio traffic specific to this location, choose a different channel if we can make that happen. Do you want Chandler to relocate to you? Do you want the drone operator to relocate to the target location? I don't care what he does. I just need to get that drone down in between the two garages, and then we can walk him in from there. He's in route. What address is closest for where the drone can launch from? Whoever has that drone up in the air right now is the one that I'm worried about. Who's got it up still? Chandler and Pierce, we're relocating to you. I'm going to see you on the geek.
eight twenty. I don't know if anybody's doing it, but maybe try to get that guy commands if he is in that barn, trying to get him to come out. Yeah, ten four. Go ahead and do that. I'm ten twenty one right now. Somebody on that perimeter, go ahead and start giving commands. Challenge him. Units. Commands are being given. Uh, we want one person giving commands. Uh, Dave Garner, I'm going to delegate you for those commands since you're closest on that corner. Dave Garner, go ahead and command. This is Raleigh. We're working through some radio issues. I want to make sure the units that are on event 10, can you copy? Well, I guess I've got Kevin, I copy you. Hey, just a thought about that house where we are. We There was a lot of gunfire, and nobody came out of that house I'm aware of, which is a little strange. 822 command. Get out of the driveway. 822 command. Hold traffic, hold traffic. If you are in the blue and white, then just pull down that driveway. Get to us to cover ASAP. Command Ray BC3, I spoke to the homeowner as soon as I arrived. He was outside cutting grass, told him to stay in the house and do not come out. Copy. Hey, reference that homeowner. Uh, can, can you get some intel work up on him? Uh, uh, Rick Center, get some information work up on him, see if you got a, a teenage kid or anything like that, if you haven't done so already. Yeah, Rick, Rick Center is on it. Go inside, see if there's any family pictures. 10 9 9. Unit that is in route with the bear. There's any family pictures. Do we have any officers moving in the woods right now? Four twenty is on the uh, driveway beside the fountain leading up to the house, but I'm not moving. I uh, stay still. We have some kind of movement. We're at in relation to the house. Smith, is this you getting hit by the green laser? Negative, I don't see a green laser. That's when it gets out getting hit by a green laser. Blue with a helmet and nods on, if that helps. Ah. I got him. 